Hey guys, my name is Tyler Weissong, and today I want to just give it to you straight. So there's a lot of talk, and honestly, a lot of confusion and even misconceptions about a mixed voice. What is a mixed voice? How do I sing in a mixed voice? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? How do I know if I'm doing it? And the list goes on. So hopefully today I can give you some clarity and some direction on what a mixed voice is, how to do it, how to train it, and how to be headed in the correct path of achieving this famous mixed voice. So first of all, the mixed voice is a part of a registration, right? So for, for men, typically anywhere from middle C on up to high C, that's C4 up to C5, that can be utilized as a mixed voice registration. For women, you're gonna be singing in your mixed voice anywhere from this, depending on the voice type, F sharp on up to this F sharp. So F sharp four up to F sharp five, you know, and some divas go even higher, but that's the typical range that you're gonna use in mixed voice. So everywhere in between there. Okay, so we know we have this chest voice, right, that I'm, that I'm speaking in. Even all of you out there, put your hand on, your, on top of your sternum and just say, hello, how are you? That's, that's your chest voice that you use to speak with and typically to sing down lower with. And if you put a hand on top of your head and say, that's your head voice. Okay, a lot of you probably already know that. And you, you know, it's kind of been the thing to say, and then your mixed voice is a blend of those two. Kind of, that's kind of true. Um, it's a little bit of chest, it's a little bit of head. Yes, and not really. Here's the thing, when you're singing down low in your chest voice, there's certain muscles in your vocal cords that are active, and are carrying the load of vibrating. As you go up higher, there are certain muscles when you go into head voice or even kind of falsetto that are now carrying the load of, vib of vibration, if you will. And they're really two different modes. So you can think of them as mode one and mode two. Now, I, based on my research and 10 plus years of doing this now, believe that there is a mode 1.5. Okay, and that is that mixed voice. Now, some people believe you can take that chest voice all the way up, and you kind of can, but the thing is, most likely you'll end up getting some vocal damage, or you're just, your voice is gonna be tired all the time. Now, you can't take mode two all the way down. You sound funny, right? You just, you can't do that. Maybe for the top, top notes you can do that, but there has to be something in the middle, and that's kind of that mode 1.5, and that is the mix, okay? So, how, how do we do it then? Well, the best way I have found to actually find your mixed voice, not just to even find it, but to train it, are what are called semi-occluded exercises, AKA exercises with your mouth closed. So, my favorite one to do, and that I hope you will do today is the puffy cheek, where you just blow your cheeks up like a blowfish, or like you're trying to blow out uh, birthday candles, and make sound. And then what you need to do is a slide from down low up to the middle part of your range or up to the highest part of your range. So if I'm saying, Now, although it doesn't sound impressive or anything with my mouth closed like that, that is my mix. And it's so amazing because you could be working on that mix coordination all day, every day, by simply just going. exact same place. So this puffy cheek, this when you do that, what is happening 
is even if you just do that, you're trapping this pressure in your mouth. It's called, the scientific name is intraoral pressure. Just pressure in your mouth. When you create that pressure in your mouth, there's also pressure in between the vocal cords themselves, which is called intraglottal pressure, or pressure between the glottis. The glottis is the space between your vocal cords, where they come together. So it's not just about cord closure. Because if it was, everybody could do it. But it's also about the balance of pressure between the vocal cords themselves so that they don't bang together too hard. Because when they bang together too hard, you're just pressing, you're just straining, you're just yelling uh, at that point. So you have to learn to balance all of these different pressures. And there's, there's more to it than that too with all the musculature and all this stuff. But just know if you can, slide from a low note up to a high note and then even just live on notes with that exercise the puffy cheek and then open your mouth from there it's so simple if you say um uh, male tenor high C then if I open up to a which is like a light mix. It's like a fuller mix. And know that it's not just head voice. It is, it is a fuller mix that you could absolutely use to sing with. And to be honest, I can take that up to, to pretty high notes. I mean, for me, I don't like to go much above like a D right there, a uh, D5. But the point is that I can because it's easy. It doesn't feel hard. And that is that mode 1.5. So what is mix? It is that mode that's in between mode one and two. What does it sound like? Well, it sounds kind of like this. If you can find it, if you can slide into it with your cheeks puffed up like that, and you don't, you, there shouldn't be too much pressure in your, in your throat. The pressure in your cheeks and in your lips. And you'll feel, you'll feel support happening in your uh, abdominal area, in your respiration area as well. So it sounds like that. And then if you can slowly open your mouth, which is what we all want to do, and keep the same configuration of that mode 1.5, my friend, you are now in your mixed voice. And you can work on this every day. In fact, I encourage you to work on this every day. Slide from the bottom of your range up to the top of your range using this semi-occluded exercise, this, this puffy cheek exercise, and you will be developing the musculature that is needed in order to sing in your mixed voice. Make sure if this video was helpful to you, you give me a thumbs up. And please, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I would be so honored to have you as a subscriber and I'm going to continue to provide you with some valuable content. I can't wait to see you in the future.